One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. eviction mean? And who's a debt collector? Why can't I open the door for him? Dad, tell me the truth. Are we poor? Dad? Evening, officer. Dad! Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but someone won't let you? Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared. Snoozers. Sleeping pills for kids. Just one pill can guarantee five hours of peace. Nap time just became your decision. Sleep tight, son. <sighs> I'm tired. Because you deserve a peace of mind, too. Heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold and hot. Why do you think the world is in the first place? He threw a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a bed. <laughs> and she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. One that likes swimming in oil, surely must be swimming in money. Help! Help! This rascal was trying to steal my cart! Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. You can go, but remember that mistreating another member of society is like singing off key. It disrupts harmony. Harmony, my ass! I can't believe you're letting him go! 
If that's how you operate, you you might as well jump in my cart with the rest of the scrap. <laughs> Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. You violated the law. Oh man. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage and now I have to pay for removing it myself? That's ridiculous. The moral is, stay away from fishy activity. My favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. Television likes to exaggerate. I am also happy to assist with cases that are not cut out for media break. Can you tell me what happened here? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but uh, believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest. Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I'd bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. When we got the tire tracks, drag marks, uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo, and the body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice.
Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object. Possibly a hammer. That's this green-blue shit under arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. Yeah, probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Poor Casey. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Robin. Well, I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh... It's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial that's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened. Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with and years later develop serious diseases from. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? What is the purpose of your list? It's my tool to spread the truth. I update it every month and add it to my newsletter. You should read it. It's free. You'll find out some stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. Like what? Take the moon landing, for example. Didn't happen. Why? Because the moon doesn't exist. First time hearing about it? That's why you need my newsletter.
Now, the set. Can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. It's getting colder. Now we don't have anything for the fire. Supposed to know someone would still own tires. Something is coming. I can feel it. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with! Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement.
I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheelbase. We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. I can make trouble for anyone who deserves it. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there. But look for something on Jenkins, too. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? If you cooperate, we can go about it quietly. Otherwise, the press might get interested. Try it! One phone call, they'll turn you off like a faulty fridge. But why would you even bother me? That bitch! Sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Why did you hire the understudy? Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock, and none of the professional understudies wanted to do it either. They all say it's toxic. So I had no choice. Jenkins brought a guy and said he could do the job. Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I 
hope the guy's in the hospital or worse, because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take- Take it and get lost! The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You. You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Help me, man! This shit is burning my skin! Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent! I swear! You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins! The guy from TV! You have to believe me! You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free! He's the one who killed Casey! They met here yesterday! Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit. But I was gone when this happened! When I came back, she was already dead. And I decided to get rid of the body. 
Jenkins is the only one who could have done it! Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know! I wasn't there! Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station? That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you? It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. I always wanted to be a cop. 
I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you getting in. I can't let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. This cannot wait. They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. I seen you on TV. You're glitching again. Ah, it hurts. For fuck's sake, it hurts. Well, that's a wrap. Hey, I'll learn less if you hang around here. Mike was driving and we heard what we thought was a blown tire, but it was just a gunshot. This Maurice. Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice. You sound like. a future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn. What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone!
start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. Listen, guys, I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing cost is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Man, why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Let us assume you escape. Without those dealers, you have no constant source of nuke. So what are you going to sell then? Oh shit, man. It's all your fault. You cost me my job, and life's expensive, you know? Not in a jail, and we can even find you an assignment. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept this stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing.
you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Car defense mechanism initiated. Electrocution commences in eight, seven, He's bluffing, Freddy. Six. He was such a chicken shit. I don't want to find out. Five. Four. Thanks, officer. Oh, shit. Those are some nice-looking dentures. I hope they fit. Shoes I found in the dumpster behind the mega store. I got 15 bucks for them. Shh, quiet. Unless you want to lose them. Thank <laughs> you. 
No short-term investments. Not in this market. We're looking at an annual return of 9.2% if you diversify your portfolio based on the volatility report. Deferred profit shares are where it's at. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But... but you're homeless. You're my best friend. I love you. You really mean that? <laughs> oh man, you're the best, I swear. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. You need to obey the law. Like it's for you to decide. My place, my law. Sense of entitlement has a negative impact on the ones around you. I think I can live with that. This is where Sook is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, 
you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. I can't hear any music. Was this supposed to be a private show? Let's head up those stairs. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, a stench. Someone missed potty training. If Sid is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Wait, I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes, I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Pick Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps.
The way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. there, Murphy? Behind you! Uh, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. I'm invincible!
gonna go BOOM! Wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. Decided to join us. 
Now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. And stay right there, everybody. Everything lined up perfectly! Let us talk. Stay the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you! Besides, I'm pumped up with Nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna... Uh, I'd have you got... Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. yourself out! That's not even mine! Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! No! That was-
was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal. I freaking hate you! You know my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice. I'm hit! I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. When I need some flu, I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <sighs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Them wanting more. That's a writer you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with money. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything 
to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My directives tell me to uphold the law, not to sit idly by. And I'm here to help you do that without any unwanted complications. I understand this is not an ideal situation and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I'm a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. I was given a second chance and resurrected inside this metal shell. Clinical death and waking up in a body that is not quite yours is a first for me, too. In a patient, that is. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports, 
What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. An Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself.
Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man, but that takes guts. Not yet, but she's been through worse. Hey, Murphy, do you have a minute? It's about Lewis. Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know it's... It's just that we want to let her know we're with her. I would like to sign it. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask them? I think I need a break. I had to start. Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. I didn't see you there, Murphy. What are you doing here, officer? Nothing much. Just trying to collect my thoughts. Would you sign the get well card for Lewis? I am supposed to get it signed and then pass it on to another officer. Uh, yeah, sure thing. That's a great idea. There you go. Signed. But could you pass it along to another officer? I... I think I'd like to stay here for a little bit longer. Understandable. Take your time. Thanks, Murphy. Kurtz hasn't signed it yet. He was in the locker room last time I saw him. As he my heat signature recognizes that the water is cold. Is everything all right, Officer Kurtz? Oh, uh, you talking to me? Yeah, I guess I stayed here longer than I anticipated. I have a card to sign. It is for Lewis. Uh, uh I'd love to sign it, but uh, I don't want to get it wet. Uh, could you grab my towel for me? Uh, yellow one. Uh, it should be by my locker. Okay. Thanks. Uh, just uh, give me a minute.
There, signed. Uh, I think that it's beautiful what you're doing. You are shivering. Yeah, I was lost in my thoughts. Didn't notice that I used up all the hot water. Thinking about Lewis. Yeah, but I, I can't imagine what you're thinking. She's your partner. And speaking of partner, I see that O'Neill hasn't signed a card yet. Uh, be a good guy and get it to her, okay? Uh, she's at the range. She'll yell at me if she finds out there was a card for Lewis and she didn't get to sign it. I will make sure that happens. I'm telling you, Magnavote commercials are not kidding when they say lethal response. What do you mean? Once a week. Shit. Is everything all right? I think my service weapon ain't calibrated right. I could perform a check for you. Yeah. Okay. Give it a go. I guess you don't have any problems with it. Your service weapon is calibrated correctly. Yeah, I guess so. What is the matter? I can't lie. I wanted to come here and blow off some steam, but my hands are shaking thinking about Lewis. Officer. It's just that if it happened to you, it could have happened to any one of us. Lewis is one tough cookie. She'll pull through, I'm sure of it. But I'm not so sure I could say the same thing about my partner. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it about me. It is difficult. Is there anything I can do for you? You can sign this get well card for Lewis. Sure thing. There you go. <laughs> Almost everyone's already here. That says a lot about her impact on all of us. There's only one person missing, Sergeant Reed. He's in the garage. Murphy, do you have a minute? I noticed you running around the precinct. I am collecting signatures on a get well card for Lewis. I know. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I ride everyone hard, and they probably see me as a drill sergeant. Maybe they think that I do it because I don't care. But I do care for each and every one of you. And what I'm trying to say is that I... I I'd like to sign that card, if you let me. We are a family. You should sign it. 
Everyone's here already. Lewis, she made an impact. We've got to get the ones that did that to her. That is my intention. Right. Keep the card. She should get it from you. Thank you, Murphy. 